now we have a web server running with a small web page let us see how to leverage the scalability feature of cloud what i can do within cloud i can configure a auto scaling option so what auto scaling would facilitate it would increase or decrease the number of instances based on the configuration that i have done and the event to trigger the increase or decrease the number of instances can be very well configured i'm going to show that with a demo when i have multiple instances the user need to know to which server the request needs to be routed to so what i'll be having i will be having a load balancer in the front i'll have a load balancer and i can route the request through the load balancer now once if i have this particular instance i need an image whenever i wanted to start an instance i need to know what are all the content it should be available and how that particular system should be built basically what operating system what are all the content should be available within that particular system i need the instruction so what i'm going to do i'm going to have an image we call that as amazon machine image where this image will have all the content required how that particular instances should get created what i can do from the running instance i can create a image and uh, i can use this particular image as a reference to start any new instances let me go ahead and start this and before starting these instances let us check whether everything is in good shape or not we do have a web server which is up and running but whenever the system gets restarted the web server will go down it will not get started automatically so what i am going to do whenever the instance getting up and running i am going to make sure the service is getting started automatically so i will use the command sudo system ctl enable httpd so what it will do whenever the system getting started or any new system coming up very similar to this the service would get started i am going to start creating an image very similar to this particular instance i'll create an image i'll name the images aws demo underscore httpd it will take the exact snapshot of all the content available within the hard disk including the operating system any other software that we had installed in this case we installed php libraries and httpd including everything it's going to create an image the request to create the image would get initiated and the image should be available over here it should be up and available within few minutes so once the image is available i will put a configuration what should be the initial number of instances i'll say initially it should have one instance and maximum i'll configure it to go up to three instances at any point of time minimum of one instance should run and maximum of three instance should run and i can configure the rule on when the number of instances should go down and when the number of instances should go up we call this a scale up and scale down activity i'll say whenever the cpu utilization is greater than 50 percentage for say 5 minutes i'll ask the number of instances should go up by 1 and maximum it should go up to 3 instances and when it should go down when the cpu utilization is less than 10% for say 30 minutes continuously for 30 minutes if the cpu utilization is less than 10 percentage i will terminate one instance so what we are going to achieve with this automatically the number of instances can get increased based on the load as well as whenever there is no load automatically the number of instances would go down and it would reduce the cost this is what we are going to call it as scalability how i am going to make sure the availability of the instances is very high whenever the instance getting started i will make sure the instance should get started in two different availability zone so the instances when they are getting started it would get started in two different availability zone so even if one availability zone entirely if it goes down for some reason the request will be satisfied from other availability zone by this way i am going to increase the availability of the instances or the application you may have a question is it not possible to go beyond the availability zones yes very well we can distribute across the regions as well there is super high availability where we will be distributing the request using the dns server or the dns services that is called a route 53 within amazon so i do have the image up and running let me go ahead and terminate this particular instance
the one that is running I have terminated. I'm going to start a load balancer. I'll create a new load balancer where it is going to balance the load of HTTP or HTTPS request. I'd say create. Let me give a name to it and that is internet facing in the sense it's going to get the request from the internet and it is going to listen to the port 80 and what are all the availability zones where it should be distributing the request. I'll select all the three availability zones within that specific network or that data center. VPC is nothing but virtual private cloud. I can create my own private cloud environment and I'll be setting the configuration security group. I'll create a new security group. I'll open the port 80 for everyone. And what should be the name of the target group? The target group is where the group of protocols, I can group them together so that it will be easy to control as a single group. And how I am going to check the health of the system using the traffic within a specific port. And any instances, if I want to add, I can add. And I am going to configure what are all the instances through auto scaling. So I am creating a load balancer. And that's going to listen to the port 80. Now nothing is being served through this load balancer. I'm going to create a auto scaling group in the sense I have an image. Whenever the instance going to get started, what should be the configuration? The launch configuration, what AMI or the image should be used to launch an instance. I'll create launch configuration. I'm going ahead with my own custom AMI, the one that I had created, which is having a web page already built in. On starting of the instance, the web server will get started automatically. Whenever it is starting, it should start an instance of type T2 small. What's the name of the launch configuration? And in case if I wanted to identity and access management integration, I can do that. For the time being, I'm going to leave all the values as default. And what should be the storage? I'll leave the default storage as it is. I'm configuring the security group. I'll select the existing security group, the one that I had created as a part of EC2 demo. I'll review the changes and say create launch configuration. What key it should use whenever it is launching, I'll use the existing key AWS demo and I acknowledge I do have this particular key with me. I'll create the launch configuration. Yes, I do have the launch configuration. That is whenever a new instance, when it is getting launched, what should be the configuration? I do have it. I need to configure the auto scaling group. That is how it should scale on what condition it should get increased what condition should get decreased, what is the minimum number of instances should run and what is the maximum number of instances that should run, I'm going to configure. The launch configuration I wanted to use is AWS LC and uh, it's going to start with one instances. It's going to use the default network and it can launch the instances in all these different availability zones. So if I'm starting n number of instances, they would get distributed across n number of the availability zones to increase the availability. And if I want to configure the scaling policy, I can configure the scaling policy. It should start with one instance and it can go up to three instance. And what should be the CPU utilization? So I'll say when the size should get increased. So the size should get increased by one instance when it's going to increase the capacity. So the alarm, when the alarm will happen, whenever the average CPU utilization is greater than 50 percentage for at least five minutes, or let me see, two consecutive five minutes, then increase the capacity of instance by one. When it should decrease, I will create an alarm where the average CPU utilization is less than 10% for one consecutive period of say 15 minutes. Then remove one instance. So I do have the rule when it should increase the instances and when it should decrease the instance. And architecturally, how where the data is getting stored, any data that is available within that particular system, moving it into the different third party data storage or in the cloud storage that is the responsibility of the architects to design it accordingly. Whenever the auto scaling group when it's happening any notification needs to be sent I can configure over here add a name to it 
review the changes so the minimum one instance going to run and maximum of three whenever the cpu utilization is getting increased it will add one instance otherwise it will remove one instance when the cpu utilization is less than 10 percentage with all the configurations i'll create the auto scaling group and as per the request minimum of one instance would get created and that would get routed to the auto scaling or through the load balancer as a part of the auto scaling group i am going to select the edit the auto scaling group and uh, have that attached with the target group so that automatically that would be handled by the specific load balancer that we had created so let me go ahead and access the load balancer and see what happens i am using the dns of the load balancer and access the system and see what happens so automatically it should get routed to the machine that is running and currently only one instance that is running so within the instance only one instance running that is having the ip address that is the private ip address ending with 81. now if i get into the auto scaling group these are all the scaling policies we have the increase in policy will happen whenever the cpu utilization goes beyond 50 percentage it is going to be hard to create the load so what i am going to do i am going to execute this particular action i am going to assume the cpu utilization going beyond 50 percentage and execute this particular action and the metric value i am keeping it as 60. so what will happen automatically it will calculate it needs at least two systems so it will go ahead and start one more instance so one more instance it got started and automatically the services that is the web server will get started and it will get attached to the load balancer and i should be in a position to balance the load between these two instances let them get started and get attached i should be in a position to access the load balancer and the request would get distributed into both the machines now i am going to access the load balancer whenever i refresh the page it might land up in different instances so now the request landed up with the instance ip address ending with 81 if i refresh it it's ending with the ip address 27 so this is the machine the second machine that got started it is having the ip address 27 so what we are able to do we are able to automatically make the system to scale up as well as based on the configuration it can scale down as well let us quickly see how to terminate or stop this entire infrastructure the first thing i need to do is i need to stop the auto scaling services or otherwise it will keep getting charged in your account select the instance say delete all the instances would get terminated then i am going to remove the load balancer i am going to delete the image the one that i had created deregister the image would create a snapshot so i'll remove the snapshot as well i'll make sure all the instances are terminated and automatically when it is terminating it will terminate the volume as well so the volume should also get terminated and security group i can remove for safety purpose i'm going to remove the security group and i'll delete the launch configuration also so all the security group have been deleted and the key pair also i can remove for the time being till we are completing the the key pair it's not going to cost anything additional so i'll leave it as it is so i can verify from the dashboard i don't have any volumes i don't have any instances no snapshots no load balancer running so there should not be any charge happening against my account in case if i wanted to know what is the billing that is happening i can verify from the billing dashboard this would get refreshed every six hours so with this particular demo we are able to realize how the auto scaling will be configured within the cloud or how cloud going to facilitate the auto scaling as well as availability